Hey everybody, welcome to part two of creating a rough layout in Toon Boom Harmony. In the previous video, we set up our scene so that we could easily draw a rough layout for the storyboard that we have down here. So in my timeline view, I've got my two rough layers that I'm going to, that I'm going to be working with. The first rough layer I'm going to be using to create this part of the shot. And I'm going to use my second rough layer to create this part of the shot where the camera has finished panning. Then I'm going to move that image onto my rough one and delete the rough two layer. So that we'll have a background that fits our camera pan. So don't forget that these two layers are bitmap layers, which means that when you select them, you can only use your brush tool to draw on these layers. I'm going to select my brush tool, and you'll see over here you have the options of your colors. You can go draw it straight into black if you want. I've chosen a custom color that I've created. It's blue, and it's got a slight alpha on it. That's just how I prefer to draw my roughs. It's really up to you how you decide to do it. And in my tool properties, I have just a soft lid with a slightly larger diameter to it. So I'm going to start drawing on this rough layer and I'm going to pay very careful attention to how the rocks look in my location design. For instance, over here we have a rock jutting out. It's a little bit different to how the rocks are formed over here. A lot of them are coming out of the ground and straight up. And there's quite a few harsh corners on these rocks, whereas here a lot of the rocks are sort of rounded off, even where there are sharper corners. There's still a slight roundness to the shape. And I'm also going to add some texture in terms of these lines over here. But remember that this is still a rough, so it doesn't have to be particularly neat. It's just to put down our design for our final neat and to make sure that we have the right length of the background for the camera pan. And then again, as I've mentioned previously, we don't have any reference for these crystals. So we're going to have to kind of be a little bit creative with how we do them. I'm going to start my rough on this side of the scene. And I'm just going to make sure that these rocks match what's going on on this side. So here I have my first rough drawing. If we turn off the animatic, you can see what it looks like. That is going to create the first part of the pan of the camera. But now we have to worry about the second part, which is down this side. And as you can see, it overlaps, the background overlaps. So it's going to cut off here on the first one. And we need to draw the rough from about this point on the second drawing layer. So on our rough two. I'm going to go right to the end of my timeline, add a frame, and then I'm going to start drawing in the rocks for this part here. Okay, so now that I'm done with this, what I can do is I can go to my rough one, go to the end of the timeline, and expose the drawing layer. 
then I can turn off my animatic, grab my rough two with my selection tool, and move it across until it meets and overlaps with my rough one. Uh, you'll see there's some areas that overlap over here. We can either get rid of parts of those areas by just erasing with a large brush tool and just pressing shift and we can erase straight down. Or you can leave it as is if you're okay with the overlap happening. It is a rough after all, it doesn't have to be perfect. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab what's on my rough to cut it and paste it on my rough one. And then I'm going to delete rough two. So now we have a rough layout that is long enough for our camera pan to work in the final scene. So the next thing to do would now be to go and create another drawing layer that is a vector layer and use that to do the neat lines. So I'm going to do that in the next video. See you there.